Abusi ya mwabi ya kwa abia de ba Kroma TV GH So ya amwa mesa ene midi Ene ye bro ya boso me nena Eto so adunu inu Mechile 25 December Ah, to say any effort you have to Now, old boy, you have to know how to do it. Because you are going to be a leader. What you say, you So, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. Yeah, Merry Christmas. As you say, move in casa. Ah, to say, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. You are going to be a leader. So, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. So, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. So, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. So, what you are going to do, you are going to be a leader. I A child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. For us as Christians, these words expressed by the prophet Isaiah bring glad tidings of great joy to our hearts. The celebration of Christmas provides us with an opportunity once again to reaffirm our faith, hope, and trust in Almighty God and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and to imbibe in us a deeper appreciation of hope in times of adversity and triumph over uncertainty. Christ was born to reconcile man to God and demands of us as children to love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind and love our neighbors as ourselves. The cardinal principles of Christianity, charity, faith, humility, love and reconciliation should guide us in this festive season and beyond. Fellow Ghanaians, I am particularly glad that our nation has turned the corner. Following three difficult years, we, and indeed the world, have faced. Inflation is being reined in, we're experiencing a relatively stable exchange rate, and growth in our economy is rebounding. We continue to attract investments, domestic and foreign, reinforcing our position as the gateway to Africa and we remain a beacon of democracy, peace and stability in Africa. The country is not yet completely out of the woods, but there is a growing sense of confidence that with hard work and determination, Ghana will make it and collectively we will secure our futures. In this period, as we open our country up to the thousands and thousands of visitors who are celebrating Christmas with us. December in G8, now being a global event. I appeal to all of you to exhibit at all times the proverbial Ghanaian hospitality for which we are famed. Let us leave a positive, lasting impression on them which will help ensure that our country's tourism potential is enhanced for the benefit of our nation's socioeconomic and cultural growth. Next year is an important year in our democratic journey. We will hold on 7 December 2024 the ninth general election in the history of the Fourth Republic, which has witnessed the longest period of stable constitutional governance in our entire history. We all have a duty to conduct ourselves in such a manner that we have a free, fair and transparent election that will enable the Ghanaian people choose in peace and serenity the person and persons who will manage their affairs on their behalf 
for the next four years. I'm confident that yet again, Ghanaians will rise to the occasion and reinforce the status of Ghana as a bastion of democracy on the African continent. For my part, I will always be grateful to Almighty God and to you, the Ghanaian people, for allowing me to serve you. I remain committed to the mandate you freely gave me and will use the last year of my stay in office to do all in my power to continue to help create a free and prosperous nation of opportunities where every Ghanaian child, no matter the circumstances of his or her birth, has a fair chance to strive for a happy and dignified life and realize his or her aspirations and where we can unleash the sense of enterprise, creativity and innovation of the Ghanaian people so that together we can build a progressive, prosperous Ghana whose citizens live in harmony and security in fulfillment of the dreams of the founding fathers of our nation. Let us all celebrate the season safely and responsibly. And remember to help those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Let each one of us do our bit to help feed those who are hungry and offer comfort to those in need. Let us take the time to gather, love, listen and learn from each other. And to remember that with the help of God, we can overcome any challenge and achieve any future of which we can dream. On behalf of the government, my wife Rebecca, the First Lady, my daughters, grandchildren and family, I extend warmest of greetings of the seasons and best wishes to all Ghanaians for a happy, prosperous New Year. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong.